my friend. Welcome back to my kitchen. I'm so glad you're here. If YouTube brought you here, my name is Stacy, and around here, I create simple, affordable meals that can be done in minutes. Well, today, I'm going to create a lunch for myself. I work from home remotely, and what that means is every day, I create a lunch for myself. But today's lunch is going to come together so fast using a couple of shortcuts. We're going to use a jarred teriyaki sauce, and we're going to use these. Do you remember these ramen noodles? Yes. Stick around. Let's make it together. Now, not only are we going to use the shortcuts of the ramen noodles and the jarred teriyaki sauce, we're also going to be cooking this in the air fryer. Now with this, we're going to be putting our teriyaki sauce on top of our chicken and it kind of makes a mess and I have to get to work. So we're going to use the air fryer liners. Now they do change the cooking time just a little bit of your chicken. So you want to make sure that you have a thermometer that you can check to make sure that your chicken reaches 165 degrees. Let's put our ingredients together and get started. Here's what you're going to need some leftover veggies, whatever the veggies are that are your choice. Here I have mushrooms, broccoli, some sugar snap peas, and some carrots. House seasoning, because we put this on everything. If you don't know my recipe for house seasoning, I'll be sure to list that in the description. And then a little bit of ground ginger. We just wanna flavor this just a little bit while it's in the air fryer. We have our teriyaki sauce and our ramen, and a chicken breast. Now I wanted to show you with these vegetables, I have the sugar snap peas here and the sugar snap peas have this little fibrous part of it. So we're just gonna snap that and you can see you just peel that off, snap the other side, and then like a true southerner, I'm gonna snap my beans. Let's season this chicken breast up. We're going to season both sides of the chicken. So we just flip it and now we'll season the other side. Before we put our chicken breast into the air fryer, we wanna make sure that we spray it. So this is just olive oil in my little Misto spritzer. I can link the Amazon link to this below. We're going to turn it over, spray the other side, and then this will go into our air fryer liner and then into our air fryer. Now our chicken is going into the air fryer, 385 for 10 minutes. While our air fryer is going, we're going to start a pot of water to boil so that we can cook our ramen noodles and our veggies. Once this comes to a boil, I'm going to put our veggies in first and then we'll add the ramen noodles about two minutes later. Now that our water is boiling, we're just going to throw our veggies in there. for about two minutes or so. Now that our veggies have softened a bit, we're going to add our ramen. I'm gonna go ahead and break this into four chunks just so that it cooks a little faster. We are not going to be using that, so we're just gonna throw that away. That beeping means that it's time to add our sauce to our chicken. Our chicken is cooked for five minutes, so we're gonna take our bottle of teriyaki sauce and just pour that over the top, and then we're gonna flip the chicken. 
We're going to use a fork to spread that teriyaki sauce all around. And then flip our chicken. And add teriyaki sauce to the other side and then air fry for another five minutes. We've tossed our ramen noodles into that boiling water. Now we're just gonna come in with a fork and then just try to separate them a little bit. We want them to be a little al dente, almost cooked. Once they're all separated, we're going to drain the water out. Now we have our ramen and veggie strings. We're just going to throw in some water chestnuts. Do you all like water chestnuts? We love them. It gives just a little bit of a crunch. They're wonderful. And if you add them into the hot noodles, that's all you need to do. Just warm them up, basically. Now to this, we're gonna add a little bit of our teriyaki sauce. We'll start with about two tablespoons and stir that in and see what the color is and see if we need to add a little bit more. And again, it's in the hot pan, so it's gonna warm that teriyaki sauce up. I had to switch to a wooden spoon in our metal pan. There we go. Our faux main noodles are done. Now we just have to wait for our air fryer to be finished and our chicken will be done as well. Our chicken is done. Let's check to see what temperature it is. We're there. Our chicken is done. Our faux main is done. Let's plate this up. This is why we use the air fryer liners, especially on a work day. All of our mess is here and our air fryer is clean. Isn't that the best? I love these air fryer liners. I think this might just be lunch for two people instead of one. And we're just going to slice our chicken. You could definitely put this in a bowl too if you needed one hand, if you were sitting at your desk and needed a one-handed meal. This one would be great in a bowl too if you wanted to dice this chicken up. Lunch is done. What do you think, friend? Can you make this dish for one? Really, two. <laughs> that's a big chicken breast, and that's a lot of ramen. So I bet it would probably feed two people. But hey, have some for lunch today and some for lunch tomorrow. Then you've just made lunch for two days. Easy as pie. I hope you enjoy this recipe, friend, and I hope you stick around. Be sure to like and subscribe. I'm a brand new YouTube channel and I could use your support and I'd love to get to know you. So join me here every week and we'll create super simple recipes together. Bye friend.